Hey everyone, again, it's the Sound Couple. We are off to a gig, and we are first <laughs> gonna drop off the pup. This is something that's pretty pretty common with every gig we do. We have to bring her in, and we bring her to a pet lodge to have her uh, just spend the night. We are off to a corporate party in downtown, and this is a gig that I initially turned down, and the reason why is because we, there were <laughs> there wasn't any parking. We were able to get our parking situation straight. We're gonna be able to stay in the loading dock at the hotel. Here we are, we've arrived at our destination and we are finding the loading dock area. So Maybe? Need, uh, go in e so this is exit. Oh, shit. Entrance. Okay. Yes, remember, it's all coming back to me now. So we are co-sharing, and I figured that would be the case with another production company. They have the audio for the program and speeches and video screens. This is what our load-in is looking like. The good news is we, we're not going to have to... No elevators! <laughs> well, that's not what I, I was thinking about lighting. Yeah, and that too. We're not going to have much to do for lighting, which is okay by me. And I'm sure Stacy is fine with it too. Yep, it'll make her load out really. Yeah, we just got this hill to deal <laughs> with, which we've dealt with before. And then we need to find out where we're going to park, ultimately park the van. So I think, I think this is going to be actually pretty easy, Stace. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Stacey and I are getting set to start loading in here, and one of the things that I was assuming but really didn't have to get involved with is, is the program portion. And what's nice with this band that we're working with, we are provided an itinerary, and we're also told what, what our role is. And so knowing that there was a program, I figured there would be another AV company here. And the company here is, they used to be called PSAV, and they are Encore now. And Encore, they're big, they're all over the place. I think they're pretty na na nationwide. And they have a lot of the hotels, uh, at least in downtown Minneapolis. So I just wasn't familiar. I didn't know they, they changed their name, but we'll show you once we get in the room. But it's pretty clean and it's actually going to be less work for us overall. Sometimes it can be more work, especially if we have to work around a bunch of stuff. But not today. This will be this will be just fine.
it up like this. So we don't have to. We consolidated our cabling and we're trying to avoid having to bring in the big tub there. So we've kind of come up with this mess and then the other cables, XLRs in our monitor bin, we are able to get by with. Um, it's just not very pro looking, but I don't know, maybe we're not pro. Got it? Yep. So I think we'll just go to the left. Okay. Correct? Yep. So we don't have to roll over those cords. I don't want to be responsible for things going wrong and get blamed because we roll putting over their cables. Better to be safe than sorry. I guess we're going in this way now. Come on. All right. I know. It was just. Losing that chair, or, or that still stairs then? Did you hear me? No, I didn't. Aren't those stairs going away, or not? That because they were on the other side. trying to secure where we're parking. So are they coming down? Or yes. Okay, Stacy went up to the ballroom. I am waiting for security to come down here. And again, they weren't aware. The security person wasn't aware, but I have names. So I have a name of a Hyatt, uh, the hotel we're at. I have a contact name. Uh, so you always need to make sure you're covering your bases and get names. Yeah, you may think you have it set and then you get here and then the right arm or the right hand doesn't talk to the left hand. Um, but I'm kind of feeling like I'm stuck here a little bit. I'll give the guy a couple more minutes, but we got to get loading as well.
Okay, we are getting set up. Stage is over there. Video over there, audio. So our system needs, our systems uh, sneaks in pretty well. It's not pretty unobtrusive, I think. But we got the stage ran and wired. I'm gonna be firing up the cabinets here and uh, doing a system check. So far, everything is going very well, except I see two cables there that... <laughs> All right, Stace, I'm gonna call you out here. I know, what, now what did I do? I figured maybe you were trying to make a 10 foot cable go 12 feet or something. No, I... Okay, just um, set up and did, did some line tests and the iPad dropped once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a wireless scan on the Nowsonic. And I think it's always, yeah, here. So I'm gonna do a channel search. We are in a downtown location, so it's not surprising that um, we could have some wireless issues. So it comes up with the best channel, so we're gonna select that. And we'll, yeah, I'm, that message is a little bit scary, but uh, I've used it before. So we'll try running on this channel and see see what happens. Yeah. 
AV crew here has a interesting taste in music. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> you can hear that. Anyway, we are set up as much as we can be for now. I think it worked out pretty well. <laughs> Sorry. So the drums, the back line has pretty much been here. So we got them line checked, sound checked. The horns and the singers will come later. So we'll end up mixing them on the fly. The horn guy will bring his own mic five minutes before downbeat. Again, we are using the Personas HP2 for his in-ear. We got the old I trusty iPhone for his control. Guitar. And then hopefully the podiums. We should make sure that this podium. So the plan is there's gonna be no time between there's a the comedian who I think you've seen talking a lot today, he's been talking to us a lot today. Um, so there's going to be dinner, then the comedian, and then right after the comedian, they want us to start right away with the band. So somebody's going to have to make sure this podium gets struck. It seems like in the table, it seems like it generally ends up being you and me. Um, we negotiated the use of the lights because those guys are splitting at 9 o'clock. Just makes the most sense to, to, to use their lighting as long as it's here so we're not putting a bunch of trees in the back line but that's those are the little details that probably should be discussed um, and not at the day of but we worked it out well, I think that's what makes us good at our job is that we're flexible enough to just say okay to bring lights <laughs> well <laughs> whether or not to set them up and plus we bring blue Ikea bags to haul here, so that's really pro level stuff, guys. Pretty good room, sizable room. They got the cameras and the screens. Since we've done an update or if ever on our rack, just to kind of show you the nuts and bolts of it, the back there's actually quite a lot going on here. 
course we got the the rack mixer right here the 32 hour above that we have the um the Furman and then I have this patch panel here and it's split between Ethernet and AVB so these anything we need to do AVB so tonight we're doing the the mics and then the stage boxes so that's what these two are for this is our right side of the speaker cabinet right over here and of course the left is going on the other with into the uh, NSP stage box on the other side um, some people have been asking what we use for lighting um, so we got the luminary app and tucked in here is the Entech ODE uh, DMX gateway so Ethernet to, to DMX I may not be saying that quite right um, there's ArcNet I'm not too up on all the, the protocols but basically it allows us to have our iPad control our lights through the DMX so we have um, right here this is where our lighting plugs in so this is actually the panel is just plugging into the back of the box here um, I'm, I'm a fan of using patch panels it just makes it I think a lot easier instead of trying to run stuff in here so this one into the mixer here it's always just stays plugged in I never have to touch it it's all ran through the guts back here so we have a switch here just a plain old Ethernet switch for some additional ports we got the SW5E for our AVB, and then back there as well, there's a uh, uh, the back of the uh, now Sonic Stage router that's providing more ports. We got another power conditioner up here for more outlets, so I got a lot of gear plugged into the back of that. And of course, outlets. It seems like you can never have enough outlets on these things. So we have power distribution right here. That's just a short little uh, extension cord patch. Um, we have another three outlets here with this Belkin power power thing uh, brick we have tucked in here we have even more power right here um, so, and then of course up here we got lights here if we need it which we don't need very often but you know, in case we it's there if we need it and of course the left and right mains are patched in here as well and then out of the rack mixer the it's quarter inch on this thing so we have this quarter inch to XLR because basically everything in the speaker world is XLR so we just have this tail I think I'm using one uh, sorry it's not very but it's just a little eight channel whip and I think we have one mix plugged into that uh, what else we can go around in the front take a look at that so this is what it all looks like on the front. So for tonight, we're not using a ton of channels, but between the stage boxes, we only got three inputs physically going into the uh, mixer, which I think is probably the, the horn mics right there. We have our net gear. Uh, this is our, for internet. Um, so that's bridged from the stage router pro to this. So we have internet at all the gigs. Um, so anything that's plugged into our network um, can, have internet, I guess, including our mixer. And then on the very top then is our, they asked us to power this down. This is our Shure ULX4Q. Uh, they wanted us to turn it off so there wasn't any conflict with their equipment. With the pullout drawer here, we're using the three, three wireless mics, so. All right, that is an overview, and we'll, we'll show more of the gig later. No, no, you're no, you really see the bad actress too. All right, that's easy. Your teammate, name something about your teammate. What is your teammate like? Something. Uh, me and Layton. <laughs> he likes you and Layton. That's just weird. All right. Kurt Asfeld.
of this band and the lineup is that we got a 10 piece band and we got them down to 14 channels
I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> I'm just like standing blocking this. That's all right. <laughs> all right, we're tearing down. And I just got to say, this Beta 52 had for probably 20 years. And what a awesome bike. Um, this guy has been through thick and thin over the years. Beta 52, in my opinion, is the best kick drum mic. It's just so forgiving and sounds so nice and it's so easy to mix. Uh, highly recommend it. Okay, according to Stacy, we are at 45 minutes. It's 1246. The band played a little bit over, but we are pretty much packed up and we're gonna get be able to get everything out on one cartload. And of course, the CDLs on their casters. These carts go really well over the carpet, don't they? Yeah, they do. Compared to the multi cart. Yeah. Uh, it's got the fat tires, the multi cart. Yeah. And the casters on the speakers are really good too. Yep. All right, are we? Yep. Put it all the way. Yep. So we got. Be careful behind you.
What do you think, Stace? I hope I got some keys somewhere. Hopefully they're in. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Um, are we good then? Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> my gosh, this is it. So we made it on one, five loads. two, three, four, five loads. What, what do you consider a load? Well, good. Yeah. We pushed two, two subs at the same time, but we got three carts and four subs and speakers. Something like that. All right, we need to uh, find some keys for the truck. Yep. Hopefully, you th what are you thinking? It's cold out here? No. Feels wonderful. Oh, Stacy on and all right, taking the load down. Yep. On the way out, we got gravity working with us. Yeah, okay. these are right here. And so we got the Astro Start uh, security. And then the next thing is well, making sure this cart doesn't roll away. You know what's so cool about a loadout like this? What? It's 21 degrees out oh. and we're in short sleeve. Yeah. yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. No complaints here as far as uh and or if we've loaded tonight. Uh, yeah. And or if snowy tonight. We've had those yes. gigs where it's been snowing or really shitty weather and had to load out and that, but tonight we are it's very comfortable in here and uh we we never take loadouts like this for granted. to the uh, hallway out there and then we got everything from the hallway over to the door here and then from the door everything down so that was we weren't too worried about things but just staging it so we kept everything it's more about us keeping things uh, in check that we knew you know we did an idiot check out of the ballroom got everything to the hallway and then from the hallway to the door. So it was more about us keeping track of where we were at with our gear. Hey, it's gonna open, all right. We are free. We're on our way home. And this was our last gig of 2021. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, oh, now you're gonna go for it now. This was the first year we started our YouTube channel. 
started off a little bit slow, but a little bit of that was by design. This last month has been kind of a boost for us. Just please remember that the comments and the likes and everything really make a difference. Happy 2021. Here's to a better 2022. The sound couple will be back. Good night. It was a great gig. Really nothing to report. The band was awesome as always. Oh. Slight right. I'm assuming oh. it's this. No, it's li local streets only. Okay, so you're... Turn left onto East 15th Street. Yeah, I think we have to... Uh, you should have just stayed right one. there. Dang it. All right. A uh, little detour through... Uh... So we're going the wrong way home. All right. <laughs> so, welcome to our world. No, no, no I am going in the right way. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is taking us on the new stretch. On the East 15th Street. Anyways. Ah, damn it, we're like less than 20 miles from home and we don't even know how the hell to get home. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Good night.